AMC 10 AMC 2006 Problem 11. A company sells peanut butter in cylindrical jars, and marketing research shows that if you increase the diameter, you will get more sales, or the wider that is. So the diameter is increased by 25%. We're trying to find how much of the volume must be decreased. So what is the volume formula for a cylind cylinder? That will be pi r squared times h. Now we're going to let the diameter of this cylindrical jar to be d. The diameter is increased by 0.25%, so we must add this by 0.25d, which is the same thing as 1.25d. So this is the diameter of this new jar. Now, given this information, how much of the height must be decreased? Well, what is the volume of the new jar? The v of new will be the same thing as pi times r squared, but what is r? We can rewrite everything in terms of r, actually, because the diameter is equal to 2 times r, so r is equal to the, the, the uh, diameter divided by 2. Now, the diameter is... 1.25 so this is the same thing as pi times d over 2 squared times h which can be simplified to be pi d squared h over 4. now what about the volume of the new cylindrical jar that'll be pi times the new radius which is 1.25 d 1.25 d divided by 2 squared times h now what is 1.25 1.25 is the same thing as 5 over 4. so therefore if you square that that'll be pi times 25 over 16 times d squared times h divided by 4. Now, you see here that everything is the same, except the coefficient of h must be multiplied by some constant so that it can be so that it can be matching pi d squared h over 4. So, h must be multiplied by 25 over 16, the reciprocal of it. So, 16 over 25 must be the percentage that the height must be decreased at. So, 16 over 25 is the same thing as h being de neglected by 16 over 25 percent, or decreased, not neglected. That's very bad wording. But nonetheless, we have 16 over 25. But how do we uh, relate that? So 16 divided by 25 will give us a percentage that we need to decrease it by. So 0, then we put, let's see, so it will be 5, or we could put 6, rather. So this will be 150, 100, and this will be 4. So we must decrease it by 0.64%. But is this really the case? Because we want the height to be 0.64%. We only want 0.64% of the height. We do not want the remaining 0.36% of the height. So what we're actually doing is we're decreasing it by 0.36, but we want to reserve 0.64% of it. So the real answer will be 36 with answer choice C.